We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. The man beside me is a native of Ferelden, now risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. He is proof that glory is within reach of us all. He has survived despite the odds, and without him, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Kaelan. But most of all, today we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden! For the Grey Wardens! So it begins. Yeah. Die. Yes. Said die, damn you. Who's hiding all the way over here, huh? You want some too? All right. Here you are. Oh. I said, here no. you are. Not bad, not bad at all. Take some too. Oh. Take another as well. Yes. You're not getting past me. You shall not pass. Oh. What did I just say? Back off. Oh. Stop. Stop spawning. I'll just keep killing you. I don't care. I will keep killing you. Why are you not taking damage? I will keep killing you. I will guard this bridge for as long as it takes. I don't care. 
There we are. No more of that. Put that to a stop. I sense some dark spawn. Oh. Lawrence! Are you alright, boy? It's good to see you on the battlefield, old boy, eh? There you are, Stan. You're welcome. You're welcome. No need to thank me. Job well done. There we are. Next. Come on, let's see if anyone else needs our assistance. Oh. Around, around. We must go around. Oh. Alright. Shale, Ogren, good to see you. Alright. Very good. Thank you, Wen. Appreciate it. Oh, big group, big group, big cluster. Here we go. Now this is a party. This is a party, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You should run with Lightning. Can. Have some of that too. Kaboom. Yeah. Uh walking bomb. Don't have to Shock. Here comes trouble. Wind's grasp. Come on, everyone. Need to push further on. Come on. We can do it. Alright. No one's hiding behind there. You're alright there. <sighs> well, not anymore. You're dead. Do you need any help? Got my fireball ready and primed. Just point me in the right direction. Alright. How are we doing so far? Are we doing alright? Everyone fine? Eh? Alright then. You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. Indeed. That will change quickly. Bloody nug runners are outnumbered three to one. What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume? The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. Why so small a group? A large group is only going to draw attention, and I think I know what we need to do. We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... You want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice, though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources hmm. trying to find them. The decision is up to you. Do you know where these generals are? Neither of them are near Fort Draken currently. But there are too many darkspawn here to tell you more. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them, but their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Well, um, on your suggestion, I will be taking Alistair. Yes. Um, and Sten. Yes. And Liliana. Indeed. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Uh, what if my other companions will lead? Do you have a preference? Um, win. I shall do my best. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. 
May the Maker watch over you. So this is it then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Yes. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. Farewell, and may the Maker watch over you. So, this is it. Yes, Ogren. It looks like it. It has been an honor to fight with you. Honor? <laughs> Nobody's looked at me and seen honor in a long time, Warden. You well, took in a drunken disgrace of an Orzammar warrior. You gave me a reason to fight, and the will to keep going. You helped me find the one woman in the sodding world who might put up with me. And you helped me get past Bronca so I could have someone new. I owe you a lot, Warden. I consider it a fine honor to die for you and your cause. We will make it through this, Ogren. You have my word. We might, and we might not. I'm betting on not. Let the stone turn red from the blood of heroes. Today, I will be the warrior you taught me to be. So the Archdemon is next, is it? Part okay, of me is so. glad that it has decided to leave me here at the gate. But the other part is apprehensive. I would almost say that I feel concern for something other than myself, even maybe for a soft, squishy companion. But that would be silly, wouldn't it? It's scandalous to even consider the notion. I know. Please do not tell anyone. I doubt I could blush, but it would be so awkward. And, uh, do try not to get swallowed whole. If the beast were to fly about afterwards and poop it out, Irony would dictate that it would land on me. I couldn't take it. Well then. I'll try my best. I suppose this is it. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you, Shale. Lawrence. Oh. Do not worry, boy. I will be back. You just be good, you hear? All right. Good. Are you ready? The enemy waits. Shall we grant him the death he asks of us? It is only fair. Then let us bring this gift to the Archdemon. We will take the field and stand together to see our enemy fall. Indeed. Heading off to slay dragons without me, hmm? Fine, well. fine. Say hello to the Archdemon for me. He never writes anymore. It's rather distressing. And do watch your back. No getting eaten, unless you think it's really important, of course. Of course. After all that, I will not be going with you? In your delicate condition? <laughs> I would still see this to the end, but so be it. Let us part ways now. You go your way, to your destiny, and I go my way, to mine. Thank you, Morrigan, for everything. I did not know what it meant to have a friend once, but you I would gladly consider such. Go, mm. slay your archdemon. Live gloriously, my friend. Farewell. Before we head after the archdemon, I want to say something. I yes. know Morrigan's... What she did is supposed to save us, but who knows if she can be trusted? Or if we'll even survive long enough to take that final blow. So I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side. <clears throat> I feel the same. You've been a good friend, Alistair. Let's find this archdemon then and kick its ass. Indeed. So this is it? This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. Eh, probably. I am not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. 
You are my dearest friend and my love. You lit my path through darkness and I will stand with you to whatever end. This day, we will forge a legend of our own. Now this may be the so be it. out of shock's question. Let us begin. Kill those godless bastards! Yeah. We're counting on you, Warden! To victory! Make a watch over you! Well, actually, hold on. Let me just... Uh, quick level up here. And, uh, All right. Together. All right. First general is down. <sighs> Only one more to go. And I'm off. Oh. Yes. Going. I never liked this part. So it ends. You, it's you. The maker oh. sure gave you the gift of good timing, didn't he? There's a large group Greetings. of dark spawn approaching, and the gates won't hold. We need your help. Of course, I, I will handle. I will handle this. Get yourselves to safety. Uh, all right. I only hope there is time to. Oh. They're breaking through. Run, all of you. Run for your lives. You will take care of this. Do not worry. Stay safe and lock yourselves inside. That is all I ask for. Oh. Alright. Let's see what's going on here, eh? How about one of these? What do you think about that, huh? Alright. Going. Another point for me! How about one of these as well, eh? Uh, I summon forth a blizzard. Gigantic proportions. Into the blizzard we must go. And I'm off. Ah. Is my own blizzard affecting me? That would be a grave error indeed. Okay, go with me now. Back. All right. Oh. Going. There we are. And that's oh. That's the second general down. Come on now, the general is down. No need for this. Now you're just being immature. Yeah. Now you go. 
You should run while you can. I got it. All right. Mind blast. You should run right. while you can. Yeah. Oh. They're coming out of the maker damned walls. Take that. What is this? Oi. You don't belong here. Get lost. Oh. Going. I said get lost. Watch out. What part of that don't you understand? That's a lot of Alright. As I said, the second general is down. Now, Fraught Dracon awaits. Oh. Ugh. Um, Enchantment? Sandal? You're surrounded by darkspawn corpses. What happened here? Enchantment! Uh, no, no, no not, not enchantment. What happened here? Oh, 
to victory. Oh, and it's off. Oh, and it's back. All right. Going. Where is it? Where is it gone to now? Does anyone see it? Oh, there it is. Attack! Oh. Quickly! Oh. To victory! off again. Where is it going this time? Oh, it's going over there. Ow! Oh. Whoa! Think you're tough, eh? Come and face me, coward. You're not much for me. Hold on. I have a better idea. Enough. Fire! Haha! <laughs> Not too keen on that, are you? Come on. Show me the fight in you, Archdemon. Show me what makes you so special. So far, I'm not impressed. It's over. over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come, but the blight had been ended before it had truly begun.
Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king and queen. The Grey Wardens stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. Hmm. This is a very big opportunity here. A title and riches? No, that's not me. Independence for the sequel of Magi? That will only cause more chaos. More Aldrits. Then it's decided. The sacrifices of the Wardens should not be forgotten again. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim. Dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan. Riordan. All of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again. With the Dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Darkspawn are still a threat. The Grey Wardens need me. That they do. I'm glad one of us is staying with them at least. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest that so? you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. All right. Well, so we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds mm -hmm. were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. <sighs> but of course you would make it. I knew you would. I just don't understand how you're still alive. I guess Riordan was wrong? Hey, you don't want to know. Hmm, you're probably right. Grey Wardens haven't arrived yet from Orlais, but they've already been sending questions. I guess it'll be a mystery. Speaking of mysteries... Yes, sir. Where did Morrigan go? She vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Really? She doesn't want to be followed, that's for sure. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. Uh, at any rate, I can see Arleman giving me that look. More King stuff, I suppose. It can never wait. And if I don't get the chance some other time... Thanks. For everything. This is hardly a goodbye, Alistair. I know, but I'm King now. And that means things will change. I guess we'll see. I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? Only the king, Alistair. Only the king. Allow me 
to offer you my personal congratulations, Warden. I must admit that while I did not share my father's pessimism regarding the Grey Wardens, I had my doubts that such a small number of you could be victorious. Yet here you are. Indeed, here we are. <sighs> it appears that Logan was wrong then. Very true. And now he is dead. Tell me something. Yes. Is Alistair always like that? Like what? Well, he answers every serious question with a jest. Is that normal? I have yet to hear him speak on any matter more serious than what the cooks are making for dinner. I fear my initial suspicions will prove correct. <sighs> oh well. His heart is in the right place. In that, he reminds me of Kaelin, which is no failing. Now I see Arl Eamon gesturing to me. There is more work to be done. I must take my leave of you, I fear. Enjoy the rest of the celebration, Warden. I shall speak to you again before the day is done. Farewell, my queen. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the blight. On behalf of Ferelden... All in day's work, my friend. It truly cannot be said enough. Well, to be honest with you, I didn't have a lot of choice in that matter. But of course you did. We all have a choice, ultimately. It's what we do anyhow that counts. It's too mm. bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems I see. well enough, and Isold refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I mm. cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me. Have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Well, you have to consider with what he's been through. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am yes. rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. Thank you, R. Lehman. It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. Deserved, of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It could have been so much worse. It almost was. Indeed. Let us hope the people never realize how close we came to disaster. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Aldred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. Farewell, Enchanter. First Enchanter, Irving. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. But does the hero get his girl? <laughs> yes. Yes, he most certainly does. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. Whether it was the Maker sending me to you or whatever, mm. it was a good thing. I thought I was supposed to save you, to show you the way. But it seems it was meant to be the other way around. Odd how that works, no? Well, the Maker works in mysterious ways. But honestly, I don't think it was the Maker. I know. It's just very dramatic. I have to remember to write it down. So, if I mm. heard right, you'll be leaving soon. Any room for an extra body on your travels? Well, only if it's you. Good. I imagine that whatever you get up to will be anything but boring. At any rate, I should let you get back to your celebration before someone drags you away. 
I look forward to seeing you again afterwards. Me too, Liliana. Me too. It is good to see you again, Kadan. These Ten. people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishok on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. I see. The Canaries celebrate and put on parades? When a Kunoran Vale is declared, certainly. It is one of mm. few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. That would be quite a sight. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose oh. I should tell you. I have decided right. to return to my people. Your quest mm. is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. That will be a long trip home. Yes. It will be difficult to travel alone, after so much time spent with companions. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. You owe me nothing, Sten. You helped me as well. It's been good. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall mm. see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Farewell, Sten. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? It's uh, a little strange. Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's mm. not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? Well, I didn't do it on my own. I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. Shale has expressed a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, oh. I will join her. Is that so? Shannon wants to regain her mortality. It seems that a creature of flesh impressed her enough that she is willing to discard her notions about them being frail and disgusting. I wonder who. <laughs> hmm. At any rate, I offered to bring her before Beats the Devinter Mages. Their lore is considerable, and I've always wanted to travel to Minrathru's. I doubt we will meet again, young man. If not, please accept my best wishes. They are accepted, Win. Farewell and good luck. And safe travels. So it survived after all. My impression that all creatures made of flesh were hopelessly squishy was uh, premature. You're right about most people. No doubt. It has proven to me, however, that fleshiness does not automatically mean squishiness. It has Indeed. made me revise my opinion of its kind, my kind. I am, or at least was, a dwarf. A creature of flesh. I have to keep reminding myself that. In fact, mm. I think I may even try to become one again. Oh, that's nice. Wynne has offered to accompany me to Tevinter to speak with the mages there. The Circle of Minrathru's has the largest collection of arcane knowledge in Thedas. If it is possible to reverse this process, then the knowledge to do so will be there, or that is my hope. And if not, then I will keep looking. I have nothing if not time, yes? Indeed. 
Then good luck, Shale. I intend to return eventually, unless I finally decide to destroy all pigeons everywhere. That may take a while, but otherwise I will come back. If it happens to one day see a tiny little dwarf who appears very nervous of being squished, that will be me. Until then, I wish it well. It, you, have been a fine friend. And it has been a finer friend. Good luck. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. Hmm. I'm sure it will be. Uh... So you think the crows will still come after you? Eventually. With Talisin dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened. But they are like the tides. Predictable. You know, it does you occur see. to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you were planning on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. Is that true? That is indeed what I said. Why? You thinking of joining? A Grey Warden? Me? Oh, no, no, no. There are some bodily fluids even I won't touch. The Grey Wardens mm. seem to be a fun bunch to hang around, however. Maybe they won't mind a resident assassin. I'm an excellent mascot. Well, I... I would be happy for the companies, everyone, if that's what you're offering. And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyhow. <laughs> well mm. then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. Uh-huh. All right, Severin. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale appears actually good. Or some our ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. Indeed. I see you've, you're already enjoying yourself. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? Indeed. I'm thinking I'll stick around myself, <laughs> at least for a bit. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again, see where that goes. Well, I'm glad. I hope you two are happy. Ha! <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah, oh, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Well, I'll let you do that then. It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. I will try my best, Ogren. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Yes, I am ready. Let's go. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. In the months that followed their wedding, Alistair and Anora fell into the routine of ruling for Eldon. Anora was a skilled governor, adept at matters of court and more than willing to spend her time judging matters of law from the throne. And Alistair was quite happy to let her do so. He traveled frequently, making personal appearances that delighted commoners to no end. Rumors that the, sac the urn of sacred ashes had been found, and that it was, that it was used to heal our Lehman of his poisoning, circulated in Ferelden in the months following the Darkspawn defeat. Slowly, at first, and then with growing frequency as the Grand Cleric failed to deny them. Once the Chantry made several attempts to verify the rumors, however, there came an official decree that no resting place for the, for the ashes had been found. 
If the urn of sacred ashes was in those ruins once, it was no longer. Oh. Really? A crash? A crash in the epilogue slides? Fuck's sake, man. Alright, so, um, quick update. That little crash right there has caused me to redo the Archdemon battle and talk to everyone again. Uh, also, I discovered this. Where is the cake? I was told there would be cake. The cake is a lie. Portal 2. Are you ready, my lord? Slash. The crowds outside are getting Portal restless. Easter right. egg. Alright. Um. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> Following months of effort, the Tower of the Circle of Magi was finally cleansed of the last spirits to slip through the veil. No further abominations were created, and First and Charter Irving was pleased to declare the Circle safe. All that could be saved had been. With the slavers shut down in the alien ditch, the lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. The new king even named the local elder to his personal court. A scandal amongst the humans, but a sign of new hope to the elves. Shiani continued to be an outspoken member of the alienage community, and in time became the new elder. That outspokenness earned her frequent trouble, but served her people well. Our Lehman remained in Denrim for some time acting as the Chancellor and Chief Advisor to King Alistair. Tegan ruled over Red Cliff in his stead, and was surprised to find himself well loved by the villagers, who were still grateful for the nights he spent defending their lives. In time, Eamon abdicated in favor of his brother, an event the locals greeted with approval and enthusiasm. The Dale Shells prospered after the siege at Denerim, having earned much respect for their part in the battle. For once, human lands welcomed the wandering folk. The new keeper, Lanaya, was respected among, both amongst the Dalish as well as in the Ferelden court. She was a voice of reason, and other Dalish clans were turned to her to help resolve res disputes with human folk. Fuck me. In time, many of the Dalish clans moved to the new land provided for them in the south near Ostagar. Wary of their human neighbors, however, tensions soon rose again, and only Keeper Lanaya's leadership kept peace alive. In Ozumar, King Harriman found himself in a protracted battle against Balin's rebellion that left him unable to gain the stability he needed. The clan lords objected to many of his measures in the assembly, and only his efforts to increase the dwarves' isolation from the surface met with any success. In time, Harriman's health began to fail. Some claimed it was poison, while others said it was a flagging spirit. Either way, after a protracted illness, the king finally passed away. The wrangling in the assembly for a successor began almost immediately. Brother Berker's new chantry in Ozma drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves. They quickly attracted a great deal of anger from, from more conservative quarters, and before long the assembly severely restricted the Andrastians' rights. Brother Berker resisted and was slain while being arrested during a peaceful demonstration in the commons. The assembly claimed this was an incident, but news of the resulting riots reached the chantry on the surface with the Divine even contemplated a new exalted march. Oh, Maker, what have I done? The Dwarven Mage Dagna ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt Circle Tower. Eventually, she published a comprehensive theory of how lyrium vapors relate to the supply of magic. It gained a great deal of attention. Although the Anvil of the Void was destroyed, rumors it about its location crept into Ozumar. Years later, thanks to the defeat of the Darkspawn on the surface, a few determined smiths managed to locate the anvil's remains. They examined the ruins of the anvil, and, upon returning to Ozumar with their findings, convinced the Shaperate to attempt to recreate Caridon's research. 
a new golem was created, bound with a spirit taken from the Fade. The golem immediately went insane, killing several shapers before he was destroyed. The research was branded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of its existence circulated throughout Ozumar, however, and demand among the Smiths the Smith cast to reopen Carradine's research refused to abate. As good as her word, Morgan disappeared once the Archdemon was slain. Someone of Morgan's description was seen, traveling alone months later, heading west through the Frostback Mountains, and she may even have been with child. There was no word of her after that. There was no word of her after that. With Flemeth dead, or at least gone, the chances of her, the chances of tracking her down were slim indeed. One cannot help but wonder, however, what became of the child. What were Morrigan's plans? These questions must remain a mystery, for now. As for Derek's companions, they went their separate ways. Liliana and Derek returned to the Grey Wardens, helping to rebuild the Order for a time. Then, joining an effort to investigate the Darkspawn's remaining secrets. As the Blighted Lands began to heal, and the Grey Wardens slowly rebuilt the Order in Amaranthine, they discovered that the fight against the Darkspawn was not yet complete. Although the Horde was routed and it dissolved upon the Archdemon's death, many of the more powerful Darkspawn survived to organize roving warbands that preyed both upon the land and upon each other. These war bands spread havoc, and some even journeyed west into Orlais or crossed the shining sea by the deep roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. But these are tales yet to be told. This tale ended when Derek sank his blade in the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last that Ferelden would hear of him, however. Dot dot dot. To be continued in the Awakening expansion. All right. Farewell, my friends. Farewell.